Hey guys, it's Abby from Autumn of Palinor and today I'm going to be talking about the five star books I read in 2018. Now I've made a very badly written list here so I'm not sure my handwriting is awful. Before I go any further I will apologise for the drilling as I've mentioned multiple times but in case you are new I live on a building site. It was meant to be finished, I live in halls it was meant to be finished, it's not there's drilling in my walls, there has been, I kind of tune it out a bit unless it's really obnoxious so I apologise for the noise. Uh, but yes, these are all the five star books I read in 2018 and there were so many and I, I went back through them looking and thinking like should I take some off, are they not five star anymore after thoughts? But they still are so... Um, I've broken them down into months and I'll say how many are in each month and all of that um, but yeah, there's 38 I think, so I'm not actually going to be talking at all really about these books because otherwise it'll be an hour long video because there's so many so I am just going to categorise them into months and I gave all of these five stars for a variety of reasons. So in January there are five five star books. The first one is Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard, then we have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, Beneath the Surface by Rebecca Langham, it'll be on the picture, <laughs> and The Bells by Danielle Clayton. In February I had four five star reads. I have Le Cassati, The Selfish Muse, Second Generation, The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas, and Becoming Mrs. Smith. In April I had two five star reads, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, and Davenant's Eggs and Other Tales by Jamal Evans. May was the best month for reading for me. I read 10 five star books and I know that the one other book that I read was four star so it was a really really good reading month for me. Uh, so first off I started with The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris, Ink by Alice Broadway, The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tall, This Is Going to Hurt by Adam Kay, Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton, Cross Her Heart by Sarah Pinborough, Cold Bath Street by AJ Hartley, The Exact Opposite of OK by Laura Stephen, Scythe by Neil Schusterman, Queendom of the Seven Lakes by A.B. Endicott. In June there were five five star reads, Midnight by Derek Landy, Traitor to the Throne by Alwyn Hamilton, Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carragher, A Sky Painted Gold by Laura Wood, The, Milanov the Malinowski Papers by H. Jones. In July I only had one five star read and that was Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. Am I saying her, am I remembering her name wrong? You know I love Green Gables. <laughs> in August there were three five star reads. The Last Seven Months of Anne Frank by Vili Linva, Alice by Christina Henry, King of the Seven Lakes by A.B. Endicott. In September there was again three books that were five stars. Shattered by Terry Terry, Anna and the Swallow Man by Gabrielle Savitt, The Mystery of Three Quarters by Sophie Hanna. October had two five star reads, both by Emily Savada and that is This Mortal Coil and This Cool Design. Amazing. November also had two, Hero at the Fall by Alwyn Hamilton, What If by Randall Munro, the creator of the XKCD website. And December had one final five star read and that was A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. So that was my year of amazing reads. I don't know if I just rate books oddly highly or if I'm very good at finding books that I know I like. Some of these were surprises, some of these I knew I was going to love. Uh, Beneath the Surface, massive surprise, I was expecting to give it two or three stars. Um, but then picking up something like The Last Seven Months of Anne Frank is a guaranteed at least four stars for me, if not higher. So maybe I'm just good at picking books for myself? I don't know. <laughs> I did read 130 odd books, so 38 isn't a huge portion of that, but I also know that I rate more books higher, like more books 5 stars than a lot of other booktubers do. Who knows? But yeah, so that's my little list. Um, I had thought about going through all of the books I read in 2018, but that would be a heck of a video to watch and to edit and to film and just... Let's just stick with this. So if you want to keep up with what I'm going to read in 2019, I've got my Twitter, my Goodreads, my Instagram and my blog all linked down below in the description. Make sure to click that red subscribe button down below because that way you can stay and watch and see how many other books I rate 5 stars in the rest of the year. And yes, I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!